Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video we're going to be focusing on GPU mining, but more specifically we're going to be focusing on how to dual mine with HiveOS, and with the coins that we're going to be dual mining, it's going to be Ergo and Caspa. I personally have found that these ones are somewhat good, they're not too high profitability right now, but they're good for power consumption and heat. If you are looking for something that's a little easier on power instead of like Kapow or something, which is mainly what I focus on. But currently I'm using my uh, NVIDIA P106-100 6GB cards to dual mine the Ergo and Caspa. I've been letting it go for almost 24 hours now or some, somewhere close to that. It's been going on since about yesterday evening. I got into this because of a friend I met on eBay. He's actually a big time miner since like way back when. So when Bitcoin was first around. So he himself, he mines Caspa and Ergo and he dual mines it. So I figured he'd give it a try and he's trying out some Raven coin as we speak. So I just wanted to throw that in there. That's where I got this idea from. And I'm gonna show you step by step on Hive OS how to get the setup and running, in which wallets to use, and how to get it all set up like I normally do with tutorials. And you can do this on Windows. Usually, when you download like a miner, like Gminer or something like that, it will have the dual mining batch file in there. But we're gonna be focusing on Hive OS. I might make a Windows tutorial to follow up for dual mining, but this is my first time dual mining, so it's something new for me, and it's a good way to up your profitability and expand your portfolio if you are looking to do that if you are not just mining like one coin like for a while i was just mining raven coin but now i figured why not use this rig and use caspa and ergo just to expand even more along with my asic miners which will be doing some and then i added my three gigabyte cards again and they're mining caspa to help out this rig you can't dual mine on three gigabyte ounce. I'd be dual mining Caspa and Ergo on those as well. So yeah, I got Ravencoin, the Caspa and Ergo, and then Caspa. Sorry for the ranting. I kind of veered off topic there. But yeah, we're going to be focusing on setting up the dual mining here. I use, I believe it's LOL Miner or G Miner, one of the two. So we'll be going over to my computer and I will be showing you the pool I use, what wallets to use, and just how to set everything up. So if you run into any issues or if you were setting it up, Hopefully this video will help you out. And if you have any questions along the way or if you have any trouble setting anything up, make sure to post in the comments below because myself and the community is more than happy to help. But now we will jump over to the computer and we will check out my Hive OS and all the settings and all the information and the actual tutorial part of this. Again, sorry for ranting on. I just like to give updates uh, at the beginning of my videos about my rigs and all that because I don't like to make like separate videos on it. I kind of just mix it into my tutorials as we kind of talk about things as my channel is for tutorials but it's also just kind of for documenting my adventure through the crypto mining and also helping you guys and bringing information to you guys. But yeah, let's just get over my computer and get this tutorial started. All right, so now we're over on my computer on my Hive OS as you see here and I got my two rigs. I have my Raven uh, coin rig here mining so I'll lower that. And as you see, I have Ergo and Caspa, the dual mining going on on my second rig here. As I mentioned, this is with my P106-100s. But as you see here, these this is what I have set up and going. So before we get into like setting up the flight sheet and everything, there's a few things I just want to go over. Set, getting like the right wallet and going and selecting the right pool for yourself. So the first wallet uh, is going to be the Caspa wallet. I find you, uh, the web wallet's the best because you don't have to download or, it or anything. So you go to Caspa wallet here and it should unlock and it should bring you to the web wallet. If you don't have one, you should be able just to create a new wallet. Or if you have one set up like I do, you put your password in and open wallet and it's just on the web here. It's just like a normal Caspa wallet but without having to download anything. And then for Ergo, I use a, this on my mobile device. It's the Ergo wallet app. You can download it on your Google Play device or on your Apple device. So it's good for either device and it's simple just like any other wallet. You download it, set up your uh, private keys and everything, and then you will have your wallet set up and then you will have your Ergo address. So these are the two wallets. Of course, you can go ahead and use the core wallets on your computer if you prefer, but just don't use an exchange wallet, especially for mining nowadays. The exchange wallets are not the best for mining. Sometimes the payments don't go through and things like that. So try your best to use a form of a core wallet, either on the web or through your phone or something of the sort. So once you have your wallet situated, 
Yeah, I'm just going to close those out. Um, you want to jot down those addresses, obviously. And then next, you want to select the pool that you want to use. Now, with selecting a pool, you have to have one that can dual mine if you are setting up this dual mine along with this tutorial here. So I use Cryptex pool because it has the lowest payouts when it comes to Caspa and Ergo. So if you go over to Cryptex here, we can just open it. You're going to see they have Caspa and Ergo. So this is a pool that I recommend. Of course, you can go check out uh, mining pool stats and find some other uh, pools if you want. I know two miners does dual mining and a few other pools do as well. But you want to find one with Ergo and Caspa. Ergo is going to be your main one and Caspa is going to be secondary. So once you have your pool figure, which one you want to use, this is when you want to go over to your Hive OS. And you want to go over to your flight sheet or first you want to go to your wallets, I should say. And then make sure you have your Caspa and Ergo wallet added. So if you don't have it added, you click add wallet up top here. Then you can type in the coin ticker like Caspa. And then you'll put in your wallet address and then click create. And it's the same with Ergo. You just type in Ergo and it'll come up ERG. And then you put in your wallet address and click create. You can name your wallet and everything if you prefer. Just make sure you have your wallet set up. And then what you want to do is go over to flight sheets. And then you're going to have a fresh flight sheet here. So in the coin ticker, you want to put Ergo first because that's going to be the main coin. You can't do Caspa then Ergo from what I found out at least. So once you uh, select Ergo, you go over to Wallet and select the Ergo wallet you set up. And then for Pool, you want to select whichever pool you decided to go with. So I'm using Cryptex Pool. So on this list here, it's easier to select one from this list so you don't have to set up the miner config too much. So and then you click Cryptex and then you select whatever uh, pool server you want to use. You click Apply and then you want to select uh, whatever miner you want to use. So LOL Miner, G Miner. BZ miner, so we'll set up LOL miner, let's say. So, and then for the second one here, you want to click Caspa, and this is going to be the dual coin, so the second coin, and then you want to select your Caspa wallet, and then you want to leave that to configure in miner. So, you want to go over to set up miner config, and I feel like this is where a lot of people make mistake and they get errors and stuff. So, your Ergo one's going to be all filled out, it's all going to be ready to go, but if you go over to your second coin, you might notice it's blank. So what you want to do is go over here and select hash algorithm and click Caspa dual and then wallet and worker template. You can just put your wallet address in and then you can put dot worker name if you want. You just leave that blank and then pool server. You click, uh, I think it's just URL host and URL port. So just like this and then password you can just put as X or leave it blank and then you're going to click apply changes. So make sure it's just filled out like this. Depending on your miner you use, you want to fill out the information corresponding. So for wallet, you put in this wallet code, URL, you put in that URL code, and then port. Because what this is doing is just going to pull from whatever config you have set up here. So for Cryptex pool, it's going to pull all the information for Cryptex pool here for Caspa. And then same with uh, Ergo. So you're going to click apply changes, and then you can name your flight sheet, and then click create flight sheet. As you see here, I already have mine set up. So it should look something similar to this with all of these settings. It might look a little confusing, but make sure everything is pretty well duplicated. So server, server two, template, template two, because that means it's all set up for Ergo and Caspa. Make sure both algos are set. So algorithms are both set up and going. Make sure the server URLs are set, and then you should be good to go with the mining. Then from here, all you wanna do is go to your workers, and then whatever worker you want to set it on, you go to flight sheet. And then you're going to click this launch wherever the flight sheet is. I already have mine up and going as you see. But it should boot up and it should just start up on its own. You can set up like how powerful each one is. I haven't gone that in depth with it. So you can set like Caspa to 60% and then Ergo to 40 or 50-50. And you can set up all different percentages and how much power goes to each one. But I just left it as like a 50-50 split here. So as you see... You're going to have two speeds and everything. And this should help with profitability, especially in this current market, because you're doubling the coins that you're bringing in, essentially, because you're bringing in two different coins. And there's a lot that goes into it. The power consumption is a lot less, depending on the algorithm that you are using. And mind you, only some coins and some algorithms can be dual mined together. But yeah, this was just something I came across, like I said, thanks to my friend on eBay there. Uh, I met him through there, and then he got me into this dual mining thing. 
so we can thank him at the end of it because now I brought this tutorial for you guys. So it should run smoothly if you follow along and everything set up properly. If you have any trouble or anything going on with like the setup, make sure to comment down below and let me know or myself or someone in the community should be able to help you. But obviously depending on your cards and everything, your speeds will vary. You can set all different power limits and stuff. I have not ventured into overclocking and uh, setting like different configs and stuff because if you go to here you can do presets and stuff but since it's dual mining i don't want to mess anything up so if you are familiar with that please let me know in the comments so if you are familiar with like overclocking or underclocking while dual mining let me know because that would come in handy to help boost some of these speeds up a little more but once you are up and running you should just be able to go to the cryptex pool here or whatever pool you are using and then you click start mining on like caspa let's say and then you're going to put in the Caspa address that you are using to dual mine with. And it's going to be the same with um, Ergo here. So all you do is click Ergo and click Start Mining. And then you'll punch in your Ergo address. As you see here, I'll just refresh mine. I have mine going. I have my two workers here. My two 1060s. And then it dual mining here. And then if we go over to my Ergo as well, I have it going here as well. Ergo seems to be running a little bit better for me. Uh, even though I have like multiple rigs on Caspa. Caspa has not seemed to be doing the best for profitability, but that's all right because I'm just looking to build up my portfolio. But just giving you guys a heads up, it just depends on the cards, AMD, NVIDIA, what power settings and everything obviously you have. I tend to leave everything more equal so I get equal hash rate between both coins. So that way I have equal payouts and everything. But yeah, I don't want to ramble on too long. Hopefully this tutorial did help. Like I said, if you have any questions or concerns or any issues setting it up, please let me know in the comments below and hopefully I can help you with that. But that's all I got for you guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you are enjoying my tutorials and just my content and you're learning something from it. But I hope you all have an amazing day and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.